I hope I put the plug in. Oops. I guess we'll find out. Urgh. You're good. Keep on going. Well, good morning, folks. How's it hanging? We're just here doing some fishing today. What's new? It's good. So yesterday was uh, not a good day of fishing. It was one of those days where you just scratch your head wondering, do I even know how to fish? And uh, we were on here on Lake St. Clair the first day and it was rough. I don't know what happened. Um, didn't catch a single bass yesterday. Caught some walleye, caught some perch, had a muskie hooked, but not a single bass. And I'm a bass guy and I've caught smallmouth all summer. So we were back out here on Lake St. Clair today to break my PB and of course my dad as well. He's coming, he's uh, putting the truck away. But we both have PBs to break. Mine is 4.45 pounds and his is zero pounds. He's never caught a smallmouth. So it shouldn't be hard to break his PB but yesterday I said that and I literally didn't catch a small mouth. So we're going out again today to catch some big ones. Don't well, I say it's PB time. Gonna drift back over a spot we marked and hopefully catch us a few smallies. Small gang. Oh, I see the I see the grass here. It's definitely shallower. Got him? Fish on. Got him. Yep. Good. Tighten your drag. Tighten your drag. There you go. Turn him up. Turn him up. Nice. Oh, wait, was, man, mark away point. What am I doing? Boom. He's got a fish. Whoa. Small mouth? Small mouth? Yeah. Hey, oh. I put the net away. Dude. Where'd you put the net? No. Why'd you put the net away, you dingus? My dad's got his PB, as in his first small mouth ever, but it's not a bad one. Not a bad small mouth. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> well done! That. We got a fish! Look at that! Nice! Whoa! Oh! Grab that oh, guy. Oh! Oh! It's like this little teeny mouth! There you go. Look at that rascal. New PB for my dad. PB. We're not even gonna weigh that. We'll catch ones bigger than that, I think, oh, today. You think so? PB. All right, we'll weigh it. All right, gonna weigh his first small mouth ever. What do we got? Oh. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. 10 point, <laughs> no. 2.9 pounds. 2.9 pounds. 295. Woo! Look at that. Almost a three pounder for my dad. We will take it for the first St. Clair fish. Beautiful fish. fish. All right, there he goes. There he goes. Look at that. Give me some of that. Nice, cool. nice job. Nice. Are you, are, you, are you congratulating yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are not skunked. Currently, I am still skunked for the two days, but my dad caught one, and that's all that I care about. This trip is always fun, just me and my dad hanging out, but I wanted to get him a new smallmouth, as in a first smallmouth. Complete it. Got him? My dad's got another one. Yep. Is that a big right, one? Right over that same spot. Same spot? Same spot, the first. That's a good one. That is a good one. I think the lighter the lighter line is the way to go. Lighter line is the way to go. Good, that yeah. drag, that loose drag is doing its work. I hope it's a bass. <laughs> That's a drum. It's a drum! Nice job. Oh. You got yourself a drum. Bring him in this net. The coloring looked just like a bass. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I want my tube back. Yep. You'll get your tube back. <laughs> that is not the fish we wanted. I'll leave you to handle that. Thank you. There's one. That's definitely a walleye. <laughs> I could be wrong, but that does not feel like a smallmouth. Feels kind of walleye-ish. Unless he comes up to jump. And then I'll be wrong. Oh, oh, is he coming up? Ah, almost looks like a catfish. Oh, it's a smallmouth. It's a smallie. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Come on, everybody. I think it's a smallmouth. That's weird. He wasn't fighting like your standard, like your standard issue smallmouth. Unless this, unless it's a drum. Oh! 
Ah, that was huge. Gosh. Spit the tube. I don't understand how. I had a good hook set into him and everything. Ah. He jumped and said goodbye. That was a new PB that I lost. All right, on to the next. Got him. Let me make that cast. Big one. And I'll leave my bait out there. Dad's got one on the drag. You got yourself a drum, my friend. Well, I don't want to lose my tube. Well, you can get the net yourself. Do an FLW job. It's a drum beat down. Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. What is it? It's a small mouth. It's a small mouth. Definitely is a small mouth. Bring it in, you dingus. I'm not messing around with you this time. No messing. Don't be a drum. Don't be a drum. It ain't a drum. Get the net. It is a small mouth bass. Nope, nope, nope. Don't you jump. That's big. It's a good one. Nope, nope, nope. Good. Tap my drag a little bit. I don't think he's gonna break off. He is so strong. I'm trying to get the boat closer to him. Oh, yes. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Bring it in, bring it in. Oh, 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 oh. oh he's in the drop, he's in the drop shot. He's in the drop shot. Yes! Woo! Oh, that's a big one. That's Woo! a big one. That is a big smallmouth bass. I don't know if it's a new PB. Oh, look at the lamprey he's got on him. Oh my. Oh, that is crazy. That is crazy stuff. I gotta show you guys this. Look at what this bass has on him. He has a lamprey. That is nuts. I wanna take this thing off, throw it in the water. You don't belong on the bass, my friend. Even though you'll add weight if he's a PB, I don't want you on there. Yuck, yuck. We're gonna stick him in the live well, get a weight in a second. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Gonna get a weight on him real quick. I don't think he'll go four. He was fighting so hard. He looked a little bigger than a four pounder, but, oh. Yep, oh gosh. Chill, 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 chill. It was 4.2 a few times, so. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. 4.2 pounder, we'll take it. A little bit skinny, I wish his belly was a little bit fatter, but. We'll take him. Awesome. See you, bud. Have a good life. Yep. Got one. It's a fish. Mark away. I got it. Mark away point, please. Mark away point, please. We are marking away point for this fish. I don't think it's very big, but it does feel more bassy. Yep, it is. Just a little guy. Oh, see ya. But it's a fish, nonetheless. Just said it doesn't really count, didn't get him in, but that's all right. Oh, oh, broke off. I just had Mr. Musky. Oh, man. <laughs> broke me off. Dang it, I wasn't recording, but I got something big. I don't know what it is. But I'm hoping it's a smallie. I had just asked my dad, where's the waypoint at? Because our waypoints don't share from the front to the back. It's gotta be a drum, I'm telling you. I think it's a drum. If you're wondering what gear I'm using, I'm using the new Lose Custom Speed Spin. This thing is awesome. It is built for the bigger fish like these. If this is a smallmouth, I'm gonna be so happy. Maybe it's one of them sturgeons. Oh, it's a drum! Yippee! Yay! What a crazy oh. fish. Alrighty. Oh, you dingus. Ate my tube, you're supposed to be a small mouth. Not a, not a drum. Ugh. Drummy? Drummy. We are in the drum hole right now, folks. 
We're in the snare drum, the kick drum, all the drums. We got them all. Buy them here. Buy them now. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. He didn't have it by the... Now oh, he's got it by the head. Oh, that hook set was jank. That's a small mouth. That's a big small mouth. Woohoo! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Not giant, but he's big. He's fat, though. Yes! Biggin! Let's go, baby. If we only had spot lock like you guys. Oh, yeah. Let me show, that, let me show that camera. That's a good one. Pretty, pretty fish. On the tube. We'll stick him in the live well for pictures later. Oh, we need some water, right? Feels good to get another fish. It has been a, a hot minute. We made our way back to the, uh, the community hole where everybody's fishing. And you know there's fish here, so why leave? What the? Oh, boo. I just got piked or muskied or something. Wow. <laughs> You're just ripping your tube, pop, pop. Nothing there. Man, oh man, that's two tubes gone. Here we go, folks. One last spot to catch a PB. It's possible. It can happen. I already got my dad his, so it's time for mine. Last cast for the boys. Got to get out of here, get back home. So we're back here at the ramp, about to leave Lake St. Clair. It has been a fun two days and a cool experience coming to Lake St. Clair. It's one of the world's best smallmouth lakes and uh, definitely didn't disappoint with a few nice fish. Not as many big ones as I'd seen in the FLW tournament, but I think the fish were a little more scattered than they were a few weeks ago. But I wanted to take a moment to explain the gear that I used in today's video to catch the two nice smallmouth that I caught and then my dad's gear as well. So the rod and reel combo that I was throwing was basically the highest end spinning combo that Luz makes. This is the brand new Team Lou's custom speed spin. I think it's gonna retail at $130, which for this type of quality is unmatched. I've never used a spinning reel that is this cheap, uh, that has this type of quality and this type of features. And so, of course, it has the wind grip handle. Uh, this is the 3000 size. I like it more for uh, bigger tubes and bigger shaky heads, that kind of stuff. And then I have it on the Team Lou's custom pro speed stick spinning rod. This is about probably about a, a $350, $400 combo, but it is, no wait, $120 to $300 combo. But this thing is, one of the best I've ever used. I love the sensitivity, and this is a seven foot medium. Uh, now, the line you'll probably wonder what I'm throwing, this is a braided line, it is 12 pound. I either throw 12 or 15 pound braid on my spinning reels, and then I have it to a eight pound fluorocarbon leader. You can probably throw it on 10 pound out here, but that's all I had rigged up for a shaky head or a Ned rig, and I threw the tube on it as well. I don't exactly know what brand tube this is. There's tons of brand tubes out there, just a four inch goby colored tube, kind of a watermelon, green pumpkin-ish color. And so while we were fishing out there, we were looking for certain types of grasses on the bottom mixed in with rocks. And if you found the rock and grass mixture, you'd most likely find fish. Now, of course, I wish I'd been able to show you guys more fish from Lake St. Clair, but this lake is challenging. I, I do like traveling the country and what I get to do, but it also gives me the challenge of fishing brand new lakes and trying to find fish on lakes I've never been to in situations that I've never even seen before. And being down south, as I talked about in this video, I'm more of a spot fisherman or more of a, a contour and I don't exactly know how to describe it, but until you get up here and fish a lake like this, you don't realize how little you actually know about bass fishing. It is, it is crazy. I have so much to learn about lakes like this, but I definitely want to get up here in the future. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you guys do so. I love bringing you guys on my adventures with me and teaching you guys the bass tactics that I learn on my trips as well. If you guys want to get your first Lucky Tackle Box, $5 off, links below. All the AFCO clothes that I always wear, all that stuff is linked below in the description, as well as the gear that I'm using. And we'll see you guys next time on Tyler's Real Fishing.